What's up guys? This is Joram. Welcome back to my channel, The Easy Access. So today, gagawa tayo ng camera review, vlog test ng Redmi Note 9 Pro. By the way, I would like to say thank you to the 368 subscribers. Salamat po. Thank you kayo sa suporta. God bless. So here are some random shoutout. Jandel Masendra, Bistock Rose, Odds TV, DP Del Carmen, um, Josh Ward Apinas, Mariel Bagnol, Crystal Pupanes, Sir Junior Bilando, Sir Gino Cordoba, Sir Arl Morales, Sir Lordski Kentong 101. Shout out to Team JJ Productions. Thank you. Shout out to St. Jean Aguilar, Calvin Josh Aguilar, John Paul Kitai. If you're new to this channel, please kindly hit the subscribe button with the like button and the notification bell for more updates on my video. Let's go sa camera review. What's up, Jorim here, the Easy Access. So today, gagawa tayo ng camera review na Redmi Note 9 Pro. Check it out. Now let's have the quick specs on the camera module. The Redmi Note 9 Pro has a 64 megapixel main camera with 8 megapixel ultra wide, 5 megapixel macro, and 2 megapixel depth sensor. The front facing camera with Panchal design has a 16 megapixel lens with 1080p 30 to 120 frames per second capacity in video. Now let's check the rear cameras. This video is shot in 1080p 30 frames per second resolution, of course, with image stabilization. As you can see, details and colors are great. Now this time, with the ultrawide. Sobrang nagustuhan ko ang ultrawide ni Redmi Note 9 Pro dito. With moving subjects, the camera is performing well. Now how about this ultrawide matching the sun? In this video, nakita ko talaga na sobrang stable yung camera ni Redmi Note 9 Pro. Shot in 1080p 30 frames per second, ultrawide. These are some random videos with the ultrawide. The 4K video has no image stabilization, but you could get the extra detail you want. I'm still with a 4K video resolution but this time on a steady position. This time, results are even better. Medyo shaky lang talaga pagdating sa 4K video resolution. But with gimbal, this video could be better. Still in a 4K video, moving it sideways. Hey, what's up? John, I'm here. So I'm currently testing the uh, Redmi Note 9 Pro front-facing camera. So this is the front-facing camera of the Redmi Note 9 Pro. So again, I'm with the front-facing camera of the Redmi Note 9 Pro. So as you can see, details are great. Uh, color grading is great. So maganda yung background. Again, I'm with the team JJ. So that's it. This is the front-facing camera. So ito yung background. Okay naman siya, yung autofocus niya mag maganda. So, you will never go wrong with the, the Redmi Note 9 Pro. So again, this is the front-facing camera of the Redmi Note 9 Pro. For vloggers and content creator, pasok ang mid-range phone na to sa inyo. If you have some comments and suggestions, feel free to comment down below. In this video, sinubukan ko lang maglakad, testing out the image stabilization. I'm still with the front-facing camera, but this time, I'm using the movie frame, uh, 1080p 30 frames per second. So, okay yung movie frame na option niya. So, ganito yun. So, again, this is the front-facing camera of the Redmi Note 9 Pro. I'm with the front-facing camera of the Redmi Note 9 Pro. So, this is shoot in 1080p 30 frames per second. So, I'm at Boulevard. I'm with the team JJ. What's up? So this is the front-facing camera of the Redmi Note 9 Pro. Now let's check some photos. With the Samsung GW1 camera, these photos are shot in 64 megapixel max resolution. With good lighting conditions, the photos are excellent. This time with the 8 megapixel ultrawide. These photos are shot in 16 megapixel by default. 
Again, with good lighting conditions, you can have an excellent results. Mas nagustuhan ko yung sharpness at details sa mga photos na to. Good job, Redmi Note 9 Pro. It could be overexposed naman pag di mo naset ng maayos si Redmi Note 9 Pro. Sa 64 megapixel max resolution naman, mas convincing ang sharpness at details. On a portrait mode, the Redmi Note 9 Pro is doing a great job. With that blur effect at the back, sobrang ayos at cool ng dating ng camera ni Redmi Note 9 Pro dito. A quick shoutout naman sa Team JJ Productions. Thank you! On a night mode, sobrang nagustuhan ko yung mga kuha ni Redmi Note 9 Pro dito. When it comes to details and lightings, thumbs up kay Redmi Note 9 Pro. Once again, if you have some comments and suggestions, feel free to comment down below. By the way, I would like to give credits to you, mom and sir, for these photos. Thank you! For 12,490 pesos, you will never go wrong with the Redmi Note 9 Pro. Camera-wise, 64 megapixel, front camera 16 megapixel, video mode, details, sharpness, dynamics, pasok si Redmi Note 9 Pro. For a mid-range phone, with that price range, sulit na sulit at solid yung camera niya. Para sa akin, okay na okay, nagustuhan ko yung details ng camera. So again, um, I would like to say thank you to um, Sir Kurt, uh, to Sir James and Andalong for doing this video. Thank you sa help sirs. If you're a blogger, if you're a content creator looking for a mid-range phone like this, isalin nyo na si Redmi Note 10 Pro sa bucket list nyo. So for this camera review, life gets easier with Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 Pro. Check up para sa akin. That's it. Kapo nakatulong yung camera review ko ng Redmi Note 10 Pro for vloggers and content creator. I am not an expert but sana po nakatulong yung video as reference po. That's it. Again, this is Joram, the Easy Access. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button and the notification bell for more updates on my video. Thank you.